Brothers and sisters in Christ, God has entrusted us with many beautiful realities on earth. Above all, He gave us life. Because of our existence, we have a chance to enter heaven and spend the rest of eternity with Him. He offered us the grace of baptism and faith. We were granted different gifts and talents. What is your gift? How do you serve others with that gift? We are called to use our talents well for God's glory and for the benefit of our sisters and brothers. In today's Gospel, Jesus tells us a story about a landowner who planted a vineyard and leased it to tenants. When vintage time came, he sent his servants to collect the produce. Unfortunately, they were beaten and even killed by the tenants. They didn't even respect the owner's son, whom they killed as well. Jesus' listeners would have understood that the servants represented the prophets. They were not accepted and many of them killed by the members of their own nation. Jewish leaders were unable to take care of God's vineyard, refusing to listen to the prophets, even to Jesus himself. Consequently, the vineyard of the kingdom of God was taken from the Jewish nation and offered to Christ's disciples. My dear friends, each one of us is called to cultivate a small piece of God's vineyard. It's not very hard. We don't have to feel worried that we will be unable to be good tenants. We are not asked to be trained in agriculture or understand enology, which is the study of wine and winemaking. In today's second reading, St. Paul urges us not to be anxious. We just need to do our best and work with dedication and enthusiasm in order to produce good fruits in our Christian life. We need to fill our minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honor, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. If we do that, we will approach harvest time with no regrets. Now, I invite you to make an examination of your conscience to see what kind of fruit you produce daily. Be honest with yourself and try to see even the rotten fruits. Have courage to discard them and move on. Brothers and sisters, let us decide to be hard-working Christians, peacemakers in our families, full of love, faith and trust in God's providential presence. Above all, let us bear beautiful fruits of holiness in our daily lives. In effect, we will never be afraid of an encounter with God at the moment of our departure from this world.